Hello, it's Mitch from Malapur, and we're back now. With, this is number 18, I believe, anyway, but uh, you'll see thing. I think it's 17 was the last time in the 18. So what I'm trying to do now is basically clear this hole out. Now what I've used is I've used a pair of snips to actually get those uh, the bars out, and, um, and I've already done the other side earlier on, so I thought, well, if I show you what I've got to do, because so I've got to get this, this actual plate, it's already bent in place, as you can see, whoops, yeah, you can see because I don't know why I'm doing that because I know it's in place. And then what this has got to go there, I'm going to be melted into the place. There you go. <coughs> so you can see, I've got to clear up round it a bit and actually take this down a bit lower because you can still see the kit uh, frame that was there. So this is uh, this is bigger. But I've, I was going to do what I said and uh, drill holes, mark it all out and use the rosy riveter. But I thought, no, I can do this on there. And uh, I'll just uh, to so what I'm going to do is drill a few holes in there to make this a bit small, the rim round it, to, so that then I can go in and clearing it up with the with the actual um, what's the name tool, the uh, burring tool. So as they call it. So what we do is do a bit of drilling now. So here we go. Go down, down low, quite low here. Plastic's quite thick. Turn this off and get it out. See if I can get it going. Huh? No, it doesn't want to go. It's a trouble sometimes. I think the, the, the so go a bit, a bit, bit higher. I could go higher still, but I'm trying to go a bit slower. That's a better way of doing it. That's that bit done. <coughs> so now we've got to remove that now. So what I'm going to do is get me uh, my uh, old snip out of these ones. Here we go. So I'm going to go into uh, my social room view. Yeah, that's it. And snip as much as I can off. I can fold that back down, I'll be alright with that because let's see if we can go up there. Whoops, just test this. Yep, as you can see, it still needs a bit of work because you, know, you can see all there, but it's not so far off. Now, now what I'm going to do now is get my Dremel bit out, drill out, and get this burr out, as I call it, a burr basically. There you go, this one will go into this. Whoops, and do this. Now, this is a Bit, bit noisy. Here we go. So we're going to go try and get as low as one and half five. I don't stay there too long as you melt the plastic. What I'm 
gonna do now is um, get the drill back in and uh, drill a few more holes on the top bit a little bit, but uh, I'd say if we really need to go too far, that's gonna make sure really. But you, you can't see much there anyway, so when that comes into there, there is a bit there, but not much. So I can still bird out and use a file on the rest, which is this one. I'll clean it out later. Now, so I'm going to do a bit, a bit more um, uh, drilling up here, top just to take some bit. rest of it because I can do a bit more control so get the drill out I'm going to clear this up before I do anything else obviously <coughs> here we go back with a bumblebee as my wife thought it was some sanding sticks now this sanding stick this is the coarse one and so it's not too much of a problem so I'm just in fact I'll switch off now because I think you're gonna you've seen me doing that I'm just going to be doing sanding a bit more so you'll see the end result see you in a minute Right, we're back, and uh, so what we're doing now is basically showing the completed. Let's make sure I've got it in focus. Yeah, there we go. Completed uh, holes. They cleaned up not reasonably nicely. I mean, I'm not going to be too finicky, but as you can see now, if I put this one on this side, gives you an idea basically well, where we are with it. There we go. So not too bad, and the one fits on. Well, we can use the same one because they are the same. So and they've got the same curve, and you can see it goes on the other side as well. So let's get this right there. There you go. So quite pleased with that. Now what I'm going to do with the rear one, uh, the ones that are here, which I said I was going to try and do, but with this part, you know, I didn't want to melt any plastic around this area because it, it could weaken this and basically could ruin, ruin my build. So, so what I'm going to do is, looking at this, use the same pattern. This can be converted to basically having two bars. This one can have its two bars removed. But before I do any of that, well, I can do that, before I do anything with that, I've got to make sure I can get a bit of metal, which I have, the same thickness as 
as this for one bar. And what I've looked around and I can see what I've got is plenty of this, this here, same thickness, which I can do. Now I can actually melt this or that, that one into it. So I'll measure it and make sure I think that's quite a nice one. So I can actually do use one of these. So what I'm going to do is, that's what I'm going to do for both sides. And then that, that basically the only one that won't be altered is, is this one. But when you look at it, <coughs> it's not that much difference in size. So I'm going to carry on with that one. I would normally, if I had this two all in pipe pieces, I would have would have put that one in as well. But uh, basically, still looks quite nice. It's got the right number of bars, which is uh, going by the uh, PE. So that's not bad at all. So there you go. So that's what I want to be doing next. So I, I will. I was going to do it on on camera, but I think it'd be easier for me to actually do this off camera, and then. Uh, Work that. Well, I might show you me doing the PE bit, trying to put the PE bit in, <laughs> as they say. But I can melt that in and now so use a bit of filler to clean it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So, right, I'm going to switch off now and uh, come back in a few seconds. See you in a little while. Well, I'm back in, as you can see, I've done this one here. So, if I see it. Yeah, done this one here. It's got time we got the two bars. It needs a little bit of clean up. Bit of Tamiya in there would be nice. Let's just get rid of the little bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, got that done. Now this one I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm not gonna cut it at all until I've worked out. But I think I can actually put a little bar underneath these there and put put another plastic one back in. So that's what a plastic strip in, so to give it uh, the same depth as that one. So that's what the plan is. So or cut these all out and do them all with bars going across which might be a good idea anyway so I might do that as well so see what I do we'll come back and have a look at that later so right here we go I'll see you in a couple of seconds hi anyway but this is Richard Monopole we're back on another little segment of this video um, I've actually put these in now I super glued them in place after recessing them uh, Slight raise, not much, and I've added the weld seam that should have been down this part because it, the seam suddenly come to a stop there. Well, to me, they all go across, so I've actually carried on with a bit of it stretched through on both sides, so that uh, basically covers that. You can see that. So, just going to tidy up a little bit more, uh, not much. More, I'm going to add the little bit of a weld seam in there and make it look a bit like the rest, and. Uh, then that's okay. <clears throat> so things are going quite well, and uh, I'm gonna. I don't, know if, I don't know whether I've showed this, but um, that's the bit I've done. I've altered it. So you've got the two, the two there, and the one there. Um, used a bit of uh, plastic sprue. I might widen them ones a little bit, but um, to be honest, once they've been painted, it's not going to look much different because it's white. That's what stands out. It's done the same on the same on the other side, and the same with uh, them two as well, obviously. So you can see what I mean with the weld seam in there so it needs to be done so happy with that so far so put that up the right way <clears throat> now we got to look at uh, do we put it together yeah we can actually look at putting these two parts together I'm just going to check to see if there's anything else on the, the main kit instructions and to, so to do but yeah so when you think about it once it's sitting there you're not going to look down there much but it, at least it's done so and the front of the, the sub, obviously you know about this bit, that's uh, been done as well. And <clears throat> what I've done is left that one in there because it kept exactly the same. It's only a fraction bigger and I thought to myself, no, I'm going to carry on with that as it is. So that's okay. There we go. So we'll call that quits now and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Happy modelling.